try to attempt that recording go. So the buffering software, which isn't really buffering software, but what I used to condense my video files and upload to YouTube, I figured that out. Video on the junk file, so joy for that. My capture card is, according to eBay and King of the Post, returned to sender, so the person sending it has no idea what's going on. He's looking into it and he thinks it's past Alberta. I live in Canada and the fact it's coming from Alberta makes me think that if it's not being returned to sender, I might even get it Friday or Monday. I might get it this week, who knows. But King of the Post is kind of slow. Well, not slow, but just very inconvenient. The person who sent it sent two items, and apparently there's a mix-up, which is why this hapog is being considered sent to return to sender, even though it's apparently not. I don't know what's going on, I just want the damn thing. I'll probably be doing Command and Conquer 3 for my first run through. And the RTS is that I've got my wish list in Steam and been researching some of them. I'm. Yeah, they look fun, but they look kind of boring to do. I'm getting some refunds from PayPal, so. I'll be getting some more stuff off Steam and the like. There's an RPG on it that looks the old classic 16-bit style called Heroes of Legionwood, which when I tried to find a playthrough of, I got nothing. I doubt I'm the first person to do it, but I'll be the first person, to my knowledge, to do it. And It's only got five reviews on Steam, but they're highly positive. It's an episodic or JRPG. And, well, I don't want to do a blind run-through of it. I'll do a, if I can, a fresh run-through of it where I have a practice file so I know where I'm going. And that's the problem with the RPGs. I tend to get lost in them, and while I don't like using a guide, sometimes I get so frustrated that I do. So I've only really done that was the first Final Fantasy, and specifically with how to get the airship and what the hell I'm supposed to do with that crystal ball. I've never, I don't even think I've used it one a guide for two, so I did what I didn't need to, but I wanted to know how the hell I'm, I didn't realize the level grinding you had to do in two, so I used the guide to figure out why the hell I'm not leveling up, and I then realized how you level up, and it's bloody awful. I remember when I first got into RPGs, my first, well, my first RPG I ever played was the original Final Fantasy on the Nintendo, and I hated it. I'll get into that reason later. My first RPG I played in beat was Final Fantasy VIII, ironically. Most uh, people my age, the first RPG was seven, and I almost start on seven, I had eight. I used the guide for, well, my sister and I both used the guide for figuring out how to get everything, though. So we didn't necessarily use the guide to beat the game, just be to side quest, find out what all the side quests are, and how to get the Guardian Forces because Doom Train. Yeah, if you're really stubborn, you can figure it out, but I don't even think I have that kind of patience. So, yeah, I'll be doing, probably be doing some sort of Heroes of Legion, what if I can. If y'all like it, so it's going to be more of a uh, side project. I got a burp, which is why I'm pausing. I know it's disgusting, but who cares? I 
I don't remember if I talked about my buffering. This is my third time trying to record and Anyways, the buffering software, which isn't actually buffering, it just reduces the file to significantly less kilobytes. Yeah, I got that working and uploaded a video to my junk file. I'm popless in it. Don't go check it out unless you are really perverse and want to see some hairy man titties. Hoping my HomePod gets in soon. The guy who shipped it is actually with someone who's not a professional store on eBay. He's only been around since August 21st. I think he, that's when he posted his uh, item. He's actually really nice. He gets to me my responses immediately. They aren't professional responses. It's Spelling and grammar is kind of atrocious, but nowadays that's kind of expected. And for all I know, he's typing on a phone where autocorrect and the like is just... It's fast. I'm one of these people I try to take my time not to do typos and be grammatically crock in my text and the like. And that's why it takes me five minutes to do a simple text. And with most people, they type out long paragraphs in 15 seconds, which for me would take probably 15 minutes. As you can see, I got my snake shirt. I like it. I used to breed snakes. They're one of my favorite animals, so I don't have any anymore. I'll be getting some soon. But you don't care about that yet. I don't have much to review, and when I do video game reviews, I'd like to figure out how to include the webcam plus the gameplay, though. Due to Sony Vegas or Sony Capture crashing, and whenever I try to edit a video, there doesn't seem to be any audio. I'm either going to have to find new editing software, CFC editing software, or if we can go to the website, will let me do webcam videos so I have my doubts or kind of do the take what I can get at the moment and if I'm going to be doing the take what I can get I want to include gameplay footage that's what people come to see they don't come to see my hairy face Well, that seems to be about it. My, hopefully, I can figure out how to do Heroes of Legion Wood with my PS4 controller because I don't want to play a JRPG with mouse and keyboard. I don't like mouse and keyboard. I like the convenience of a controller. I honestly, that's why I've always preferred console gaming, though. Nowadays, the main reason I preferred console gaming is almost the moot point. When I was a kid growing up, you could have every single game for a console and not have to worry about hard drive space because hard drive spaces on a console were non existent. So I don't switch from 2D to 3D, there were memory cards that either plugged in directly to the console or into the um, controller and yeah you ran out of space on memory cards but there were big memory cards or little memory cards you could manage them and they were cheap now from the 7th and 8th generation of consoles everything's on a hard drive so the benefit of having a console versus the benefit of having a laptop is a moot point now. Everything's on hard drive. Even if you buy the disk, it downloads directly to the hard drive because the, it requires so much speed for the disk to turn that it's 
almost still relevant. It just downloads the entire game to the hard drive. In fact, one thing I don't understand you look at games downloaded directly to the hard drive off the PSN store versus downloading or buying them on disk. It actually takes up more space on disk. A, uh, I think Grand Theft Auto was 54 gigabytes download directly off the PSN store and 60 gigabyte download directly from the disk. I don't know why. And yet I still buy discs anyways and I also got to get a, a 2 terabyte hard drive and hope the hell that's enough for my PS4. My laptop only has a 500 gigabyte hard drive and I am going to be ne potentially needing a uh, external hard drive soon because I am actually using my laptop for gaming more than anything else. Surprising, but hey, uh, nostalgia factor. Anyway, someone is messaging me on Facebook and I rambled on long enough. Take care, Al. Bye.